This winter, capture crews plan to collar close to 500 pronghorn across Montana. This unprecedented study will gather critical information about pronghorn migrations and life history. There's a new emphasis on how they move uh, within their habitat and even between seasonal habitats in terms of migration corridors. And that emphasis comes from the improved technology. And we can just see things from those kinds of data that we couldn't see before. This new GPS technology will allow FWP to study pronghorn at eight different areas across Montana, increasing our knowledge to help conserve pronghorn in the future. It does provide everybody the, the context for where we can do some more habitat management, habitat conservation kind of work to make sure that those migrations and seasonal movements are conserved into the future. Another component of this study will look at why some herds do well and others don't. So there's all kinds of things that can be done to you know, help manage migration and habitat. And really what is needed is so variable across the state that the people who live there, they know best what should be done. Identifying these variables will allow FWP to work with landowners and others to help improve pronghorn, not only at a local level, but statewide as well. What we're trying to accomplish is to facilitate local communities, local landowners, local land managers working together to identify the priority needs of what is needed to make sure that those animal movements are conserved into the future. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.